Assalamu alaikum fratelli e sorelle, rieccoci qua con un altro video di reazione. Oggi sintetizzerò un video eh, riguardo la crocifissione di Gesù secondo l'Islam. Guardiamo insieme. Well, the revelation that came uh, to us through that final prophet and messenger, Muhammad, peace and blessing be upon him, in the Quran says, Verily, they crucified him not, and they killed him not. This is what evidence, revelation came to us. Now, we have confidence in that revelation. But that's because we're Muslims, and that's our revelation. But let's go to the issue itself and discuss that a little bit. Because I believe that you're sincere and you're open-minded about this issue, wouldn't you? Okay, good. On that day, when Jesus Christ was allegedly crucified, let's, let's, let, before we talk about kill, let's talk about crucifixion first. On that day that Jesus Christ was allegedly crucified, Penny, what day was that? Okay, I'll tell you it. That's all right. I'll tell you what day it was. It's what they called it Good Friday. Isn't that Friday? You remember that now? Yeah, I said, what day was that? Good Friday, wasn't it? Isn't it? And for all Jewish people, Friday at sunset, what does it become, Penny? It becomes Saturday, right? Saturday for all Jewish people is what, Penny? Saturday. The Sabbath. Did you know, Penny, that no one, no Jew, could be prosecuted, persecuted, executed on the Sabbath? Do you know that? Yes, but Jesus wasn't persecuted on the Sabbath. Just, I'm just, let's just, let's follow. Let's just follow for a moment. I just want to make sure we're on the same page here. On that day, allegedly, that Jesus was taken to Golgotha and put on that cross, allegedly, what time was it, Penny? It was in the afternoon. And Penny, I ask you another question. If it was Friday afternoon, Penny, how long did it normally take for a person after they had nails driven through their hands and feet, nothing else, and put on a tree, how long did it take for a person to die? Because crucifixion is not being nailed on the cross. Crucifixion is dying on the cross. Just like if somebody was electrocuted, if I say the person's supposed to be electrocuted or they're supposed to get an injection, if they got the injection and didn't die, were they executed? Were they? If they were put in the electric chair and the electric went all through them and they didn't die, were they executed? Okay, so if Jesus Christ was put on the cross, if he was put on the cross Friday afternoon, nails through his hands, not his heart, nails through his feet, not his heart, and put on the tree in order to be what? Humiliated dehydrated, traumatized, and die a slow, agonizing death that usually took three to four days. Why would Jesus have died, Penny, in an afternoon between before sunset if he was crucified? The guys that are in Guantanamo Bay they have been tortured and abused. Those people that was in Garib prison, they've been tortured and abused. There are plenty of people who have been tortured and abused. A woman could be raped and beaten and tortured and abused, but that doesn't mean she was executed. Here we're talking about crucifixion. Now since you asked the question, I'm giving it back to you in a very rational way. I didn't say he was crucified. I'm giving you a rational explanation of the issue of crucifixion. That's just one point. One, it was the afternoon, allegedly. Second thing, 
is that if he was put up on the cross, if you remember, a Roman soldier came by and stuck a spear in his side. Do you remember that? And when he stuck the spear in his side, what happened, Penny? No, water came out. Didn't say blood, said water came out from his side. Now it might have been water mixed with blood, but Penny, if he was dead on the cross at that time, the heart would not be beating, therefore water would not have come out. You see, this whole idea of crucifixion, it is crucifixion, but not F-I-X, like he was fixed. It's F-I-C-T-I-O-N, fiction. And the Quran, that final revelation, it says that. It says they were made to think that. In fact, another possible issue that's in the Bible, that one of the disciples of Jesus Christ, who looked very much like Jesus Christ, gave his life up for Jesus. And when they came to get Jesus, the Roman soldiers, they didn't know Jesus. Otherwise, Judas would not have sold him out for seven pieces or 13 pieces of silver. The Roman soldiers didn't know Jesus. So when they came to get Jesus, they got somebody else. Now that's only plausible. I didn't say that's what happened. But in our revelation it says they were made to think that they killed Jesus Christ, but they crucified him not and they killed him not. According to our revelation, Jesus Christ was spared of that crime and that humiliation and that Almighty God sent his angel to Jesus Christ and lifted him up physically and brought him up into the heavens. And our belief is that he will come back again physically from the heavens back into the earth again. That's what our revelation tells us. Mashallah. Io onestamente sono molto scioccata di quello che questi mamme dice perché è molto informato e si vede che ha studiato molto eh, sia dalla Bibbia che anche dal, dal Corano eh, per poter avere appunto eh, il coraggio di confortarsi anche con dei cristiani e saper rispondere correttamente e appunto questi mamme sta dicendo cose che io neanche sapevo perché essendo anche prima cristiana e non sapevo neanche che Gesù Cristo fosse stato crocifisso di venerdì pomeriggio ed è una cosa nuova per me, io non lo sapevo neanche è che comunque gli ebrei il venerdì eh, dopo il mezzogiorno per loro è sabato quindi è una cosa anche molto strana il fatto che comunque Gesù sia stato crocifisso di venerdì pomeriggio se in teoria era sabato e poi anche di fatto che comunque lui spiega che una persona crocifissa potrebbe morire tra i 3 e i 4 giorni e tante altre cose che comunque lui è riuscito a provare con i suoi studi e invece come appunto pensano i musulmani se vogliamo proprio approfondire leggermente la situazione possiamo dire che i musulmani appunto non credono che Gesù sia crocifisso ma appunto era il, il piano dei suoi nemici, ovvero Dio lo salvò e lo portò presso di lui. L'aspetto di Gesù fu dato da un altro uomo che venne preso e crocifisso al posto suo. Allah dice nel sublime Curano, abbiamo ucciso Gesù di Messia, figlio di Maria, il messaggero di Allah. Essi non lo uccisero, non lo crocifissero ma parve così per loro. Quindi questo è, questo è quello che comunque i musulmani credono è, nel, nel Corano, è, che comunque è, convertendomi è stata per me una grande novità è, sapere finalmente la verità sulla, su Gesù. Quindi il riferimento alla sura che ho letto poco fa è la sura Nasa, e vorrei appunto farvi sentire una bellissima recitazione. Sentiamola insieme. 
فبما نقضهم ميثاقهم وكفرهم بآيات الله وقتلهم الأنبياء بغير حق وقولهم قلوبنا غلف بل طبع الله عليها بكفرهم فلا يؤمنون إلا قليلا وبكفرهم وقولهم على مريم بهتانا عظيما وقولهم إنا قتلنا المسيح عيسى بن مريم رسول الله وما قتلوا وما صلبوا ولكن شبه لهم وإن الذين اختلفوا فيه في شك ما لهم به من علم إلا اتباع الظن وما قتلوه يقينا بل رفعه الله إليه بل رفعه الله إليه وكان الله عزيزا حكيما وإن من أهل الكتاب إلا ليؤمنن به قبل موته ويوم القيامة يكون عليهم شهيدا فبظلم من الذين هادوا حرمنا عليهم طيبات أحلت لهم وبصدهم عن سبيل الله كثيرا ما شاء الله questo imam è veramente è veramente bravissimo, mashallah veramente, e lì era, era veramente molto giovane, e, va bene, e dopo questo che ci tenevo tanto a farvelo sentire, e, ci vediamo la prossima volta, inshallah, nel prossimo video, assalamu alaikum!